years old. She is going to swim across the Strait of Mackinac tomorrow. Welcome to the program, and congratulations on this uh, on this vision. Thank you, Michael. Now, uh, where are you going to swim? Are you swimming from St. Ignace to Mackinac City? Yes, I'm swimming from St. Ignace to Mackinac City, and I've got a uh, lead boat in front of me. Okay, uh, so why did you choose to go from St. Ignace to Mackinac City? Does it have to do with the currents? Uh, yeah, I wanted to cross Lake Michigan. It's a, a childhood dream and uh, grew up in the near Northport area here uh, swimming the lake, but um, decided that uh, I, I couldn't swim 26 miles across uh, at the nor southern part. Mm -hmm. I needed to come up to the, the northern part, which is more familiar to me, too, crossing at the bridge. How many miles is it? Uh, it will be uh, at least eight miles. It could be nine because of the uh, pushing around that I that happens with the waves and the tides up there. But I'm ready to swim ten if I need to. Have you ever done anything like this before? I haven't done this distance across uh, open water. I did swim in Madison's Lake Mendota for eight miles before. But this is a different matter. I this mean. is a totally different <laughs> matter. This is like swimming in the ocean, as we all know, with the with the uh, beach warnings that we had yesterday. You're, uh, you're dividing the two Great Lakes. I mean, uh, so in a sense, you know, uh, which side of the bridge will you swim on? I'll swim on the west because I do want to swim Lake Michigan. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, it would be pretty cool if you could sort of weave your way in, in and out of both lakes. I'm, I'm not trying to make <laughs> it more complicated. You want me to hit two at one time, Yeah, you? I'm not trying to make it more complicated. I'm just saying. <laughs> no. No, I guess the other thing that uh, I haven't addressed yet, you know, I've been, the press has been asking me what I'm going to do next, and I have spent a lot of time in England, so uh, I think I'll choose after this uh, whether I go on to do all five Great Lakes, which has been done twice uh, before by a woman, but um, I would uh, choose that or swimming the English Channel. Wow. Yeah. Um, and why do you want to do this? Um, it's... Uh, something I need to do I, and I was born to do. It's, I'm, I'm uh, passionate about the lake. I uh, know many of its moods and I know about uh, how to swim it because I've been doing it since I was, I was five and six. Mm. So um, the, the other piece that I've worked into this particular swim is that I'm swimming for uh, diabetes research, type 1 diabetes research at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I now live there. And um, I'm also swimming locally here for Black Sheep Crossing, which is a no-kill animal sanctuary. Do you have to make any legal arrangements to do that, or can you just swim? Uh, no, I, I uh, did have to sign a document stating that Captain Jim, my captain, is not responsible for my safety, and he won't get sued. And where will you, what time will you enter the water and where? I'll enter um, at St. Ignace. We've chosen a spot, and I am being covered by News 9 and 10 out of Petoskey, mm -hmm. so they are sending a camera along on the boat. Uh, but we've chosen a beach there that doesn't have a lot of rocks in front of it, and Richard Witt, my kayak, uh, lead kayak person, will be directly in front of me. The boat will be um, beyond that with Captain Jim and a doctor, and two other crew on it. And uh, then also my daughters, Brianna and Paige, will be on the, the uh, Captain Jim's boat. And will you land?